Hey everyone, EG Braden Sam here, and today I'm going to be talking to you about this browser plugin called Destiny Item Manager. What this is, is it's a browser add on that enables the item manager function of the vault here in Destiny. So, what I'm doing right now is that I'm just going to be gathering some Ingram to kind of show you what, in my opinion, the coolest bit about this is. So, basically, what it does is when you activate it, you can turn on the farming engram aspect of it. So what it'll do is the plugin will automatically move your engrams from your character, from your garden, guardian to the vault automatically. And it'll always leave at least one spot open. So you can always collect new engrams. It's a great functionality. I'm just running fast forwarding through all this strike right here just to get some couple engrams so I can show you what it's all about. Now it's a free add-on. You can download it on, I use it on Google Chrome myself. I'll, pay, I'll post the link in the description below. But it works on any coded engram, so your, your blues, your exotics, your legendaries. Uh, it'll work no problem. So here I, I finally, I did get a couple engrams this one, uh, including an exotic, which was pretty sweet. So this is what the function on it will look like. There's a lot of other features to it. It is a bare bones destiny viewer were for all your icons but it has a lot of neat small little features in it that a lot of people don't even know they are there so as you can see here you can see that all spots have at least one slot available including my special weapons there so what it's going to look like in the actual program itself so if we just switch here to the program this is what the layout looks like so you can see right here it says sending exomail titans engrams to the vault and that's just a setting you select right here. You would just click that and that what turns on this functionality. It's as easy as that. So what you can see here is in my vault, there's an Ingram there, there's my exotic, there's another chess piece Ingram I got, and it's automatically in the vault. I didn't have to do anything, I didn't have to move it, I didn't need another app to move it. And what you do is you do, would just click the gather Ingrams and it automatically sends those vault Ingrams back to your character as you can see here. You don't have to transfer anything. It's all automatic. It's wonderful, a piece of cake. So once you do that, you can go to your favorite Cryptarch in the tower here, Master Raul, and you can turn them all in with no additional requirements needed. It's really that simple. Now, the drawbacks are the fact that sometimes I have seen it's a little buggy if you activate it midway through the, the Ingram process. But that's just one of many, many features. So let's kind of walk through the rest here. Obviously you can tell it shows all three of your guardians and your vault space. So these are what the options look like. Pretty basic, show new items as overlay, sort items by primary stat, which is kind of nice. You can select the columns to display. I use just five here. Item size is the image. And you can actually download all of your armors as information sheets. It shows your currency and your legendary marks as well and the light levels for all of your guardians you click on a weapon it pulls up all the stats including all the uh, the, the tree for each one and within each one you can then equip it on your main character or you can move it between them it's uh, pretty slick like that you any movement changes as you can just see are updated live for your light level so i move the drugs promise to my primary slot and you can see if I move my thousand yard back, the light level then goes back to my 361 from 355. Same thing, I can move one weapon to another guardian and it'll auto change the light level if there is a change. So you can see I did equip my 351 rocket launcher. What it does is it simply moves it from the character to the vault and then vault back to that character. It always goes through the vault as an interface. So here you can see all of your other items on each character, the inventory, collectibles, emblem ships, moves, ornaments, and the bounties as well. You can see your completion percentage of all the bounties held by all your guardians, which is pretty neat. This next section, these are the quests that you have ongoing for each of the characters. As you can tell, my Warlock and Hunter, <laughs> I haven't done too much. The record book and this for each character. I am nowhere close. And you can also see the year two triumphs, moments of triumph, as well 
for the character. I did complete it. I completed it as soon as it was released. Pretty easy. It shows items currently held for that character in the Postmaster. And then it does show at the very bottom your current reputation for all of the different uh, vendors, factions, all those other categories right here at the bottom for every single character. Let me just get that out of the way. So now what you can do is if you click maximize light, it'll automatically move all the weapons across your entire inventory to maximize that light of that character. So you can see right here, it automatically moved everything from my Titan to get the, up to that 362, which I had at 361. Same sort of thing. You can see it here automatically moving some items around right now between my characters and my vault the space between it now a lot of this vault space I am going to clear up I just I just haven't yet but that's one additional thing you can see there my hunters was maximums at 345 was what it said was the maximum for that hunter for the items available to the hunter as a lot of the Titan specific higher stuff are going to be the Titan armor and whatnot which are locked. You can see underneath each of the guardians that your uh, discipline and your strength and your intellect for each one if you're fighting for that 5-5 five, five, five or 5-4 five, uh, build of each character. This is an easy way to see how it is. Now item level leveling. I already talked to you about the sending engrams to the vault. So this is how you toggle it, and you can stop it that way, and then you just click Gather Ingrams to get it. Now, item leveling. This just shows the leveling of the items that are the lowest. So if you're one of the types that like to level up their weapons, you click item leveling. It'll move the p most powerful weapon to the slot that has the least amount of its tree leveled up. So you can see it moved a, sh a sidearm that was 363, but I had not used it yet into the special slot. So last bit here is you can actually make a loadout. So you can name a loadout, and this is a predefined set of equipped items that you like. You can name it raids, you can name it strikes, um, whatever you want, and it's going to be saved like that. So all you do is you just click on the named loadout that you want, and it'll automatically load that loadout for you. You don't have to go in and manually switch everything around. It's all automatic and it's really, really slick. You can have it for all your different characters, different raids, different difficulties of the raids, the strikes, nightfalls, um, with the different burns that are available. You can make a loadout for your arc burn, for your solar burn, however you want to do it. And you can edit a loadout, loadout and delete a loadout just by clicking there. Now, this functionality, the, the DIM for short, Destiny Item Manager, it's regularly updated. Uh, you will have to authenticate with Bungie before you can use it. And you can always see the little uh, two arrows in the top corner whenever it's working or thinking. So now in this section here, I'm, all I'm doing is I'm just moving stuff around between my three characters. The loadout carries through across all the characters, as you, as you saw there. So you can name it whatever you want. Now if you click that button in the top right, you can make a loadout builder for each of your titans. So you can select the type of, type, the type of guardian. You can show all of that garden specific gear. And then for the filter, you can actually filter out what kind of tier you want. If you have 551, 542 there, and it'll automatically show what armor pieces you have that will currently fit that. So this is a 542 for the intellect, strength, and discipline. A 551, and there it automatically shows me the pieces that I would need for the helmet, including vendor items and everything I have. The green ones, the green fields are what I would be interested in, red would be not. You can create the loadout or you can equip it on your current character all automatically. There's really no thought involved. These are all the different filters you can choose from. There are a ton between light level, uh, 
rarity tier, the name stat, if it's infusible, reforgeable, ascended, unascended, if it's completed, if there's more tree to unlock, what type of weapon it is, if it's tracked, uh, if there's a glimmer boost to it, you name it, it is here. It's very comprehensive. So this, this was the Destiny Item Manager. Thanks for watching.